The House Committee on Sports has pledged to engage stakeholders to revamp Nigeria's struggling sports sector, develop grassroots programs, training facilities, medical support system, amongst others. Besides sustainable development plan, detailing grassroots programs, training facilities, comprehensive medical report system, strategic players rotation designed to promote football development and other sporting activities across the nation through the Federal Ministry of Sports Development. The committee expects Nigerian Football Federation to be proactive to sort out the problems with developing football administration across the board. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Kabiru Amadou May Palace, disclosed this at the committee's inaugural meeting on Thursday in the National Assembly of Buja. He emphasized sports potential to reduce crime, unemployment, generate foreign exchange, and promote international unity. However, it is opposite to note that sports is a veritable instrument of reducing crime and unemployment if optimally pursued, it generates being poor and exchange to countries all over the world. Honorable colleagues, it is on record that out of over 40 federations we have in Nigeria, only less than 20 are functioning. And out of the 20, only five are fully funded. The committee will engage the appropriate authorities and will thoroughly and painstakingly look into all the challenges contending with all the sports federation and a view of overcoming them to the betterment of our vibrant and articulated youths and Nigerians at large. The chairman called for urgent attention to the key sports infrastructure, particularly the national stadium through adequate budgetary allocation. He appreciated the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, and his predecessor, late Honorable Kenny Abubakar Adams, for his dedication to the committee's success. I want to start by thanking Almighty Allah and the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, PhD, the entire leadership of the House of, of, the House of Representatives, and my esteemed colleagues for finding me worthy to be appointed as the chairman of this great committee. I want to commend the tenacity, zeal, and dedication of our late chairman, Honorable Okene Abubakar Adams, and my able deputy, Honorable Jajere Buba Muhammad, for appointing, for piloting the committee successfully in the last one year. There is no doubt that we have an enormous task ahead of us. Honorable colleagues, the task of repositioning this committee for optimum performance is a feat we must accomplish. I therefore solicit your cooperation, dedication, and time so that we can jointly forge ahead and advance the cause of sports in Nigeria to an enviable status. Honorable colleagues, the issue of decaying sport infrastructure across the country, especially our national stadia, should be urgently looked into and addressed through adequate budgetary allocation. Addressing the press, Honorable Kabi reiterated the need for oversight to see to the decay in the infrastructure, says it's one of the committee's top priorities. My name is Honorable Kabi Ramad Mipales, member representing Gusos at Federal Constituency. I am from Zampara State and the new newly chairman House Committee on Sports. Uh, my top priority is to see how to reposition the committee so that the committee can be able to work hard to uh, revive sports generally in Nigeria. So our aim is to see how we can continue to revive the sport in the area. It's super interesting to see where will the committee come in, to see how we can increase the budgetary allocation to those infrastructure and make sure we try our very best to see that uh, they are functioning. We also uh, think out the box. Uh, not to rely only on government, we also see the, the, the private, private investors. Private investors will really help us to see that at least uh, we'll be able to address that. So the issue, the issue of, uh, of uh, uh, the key of our infrastructure actually is part of the problem we are having, or the problem at hand for the committee, and it's almost 
uh, second in our agenda, what you are going to uh, do or uh, try to do and see how we can be able to accomplish. Uh, what Nigerian will expect is uh, I'm going to give my best. I'll try my best. I'll work around the clock. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm not uh, that young, I'm not that old at the same time. And I'm at the meeting, so I think I have the energy that I can be able to uh, move the community around and see how I can ginger our young Nigerians that uh, have uh, uh, that love spots across the federation. So all the sports federation, we are going to look into them one after the other. How we can be able to revive them, get funding for them, how we can be able to take it to grassroots so that our young ones can be able to participate and showcase their potentials. Comfort Olayinka, DCTV News.